Oh, not again. Not again. All right. So I'm going to take them out one at a time. Again, these were 9.4s. What? 8.5? Uh, uh, 8.5. Oh my God. 9.2. So this dropped to a 9.2 from a 9.4. Uh, uh, lower grades. I was hoping for a 9.4, 9.6 grade. Let's see how I did. Oh my God. 9.0. No! Uh, what a horrible nightmare. Hey, it's Jamie from Dragon Ink Comics. Welcome back. I tell you, some of the worst nightmares are reality. So I have this box from CGC right here in front of me. I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine even before I get started. So as you all know, I, uh, I really do enjoy my vino. My favorite wine is actually Viognier. And this is actually a really good Viognier. I got this as a gift from a colleague. So if you want to drink what Dragon Ink Comics drinks, drink a Viognier. So I'm going to have this ready because I might need to chug it or I might need to raise my glass uh, in celebration. So as you guys saw with that dream sequence, I sent three books into CGC. I had those booked, books cracked out by a third-party presser, pressed, and sent into CGC without the original labels. They came back with lower grades, big time. Now, one grade bump, and um, yeah, everything dropped. It really sucked. Luckily, my third-party presser kept my original labels and sent them back to me. So I cracked the books out myself. You saw one of those books being cracked out in my video where I showed you how to open a CGC case. I'll put a link to that video below too. And I sent the books in, cracked out with the original labels with a note saying, hey, I had these books pressed. Any grade bumps would be appreciated. So I got the box back. I'm really excited to see what's inside. Again, these were two Alter Ego number sevens. This is the first and only Silver Age appearance of Black Adam and the unofficial first cover appearance of Black Adam. Both were originally 9.4s, got downgraded to 9.2 and an 8.5. Hopefully they at least go back to a 9.4 or better. The other one was an Albedo 2. That's the first appearance of Usagi Ojimbo. It was sent in uh, to my presser with the original grade of a 9.0, excuse me, 9.2, came back as a 9.0. I would just be happy to get the 9.2 back on that one because, you know, every 0.2 is a lot of money. Okay, without further ado, let's break into this CGC box and see what I got. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. So I got the three books in front of me. I see, it looks like the first one is the um, uh, Albedo number two. Again, this is the first Usagi Ojimbo. Please at least be a 9.2. <gasps> okay, I got my 9.2 back. That's actually a big deal. I think the reason why this book is stuck in the 9.2 is because of staple rust. I think the book itself presents like a 9.8. Like if you saw this book in person, you would be like blown away by how perfect it is. It has like maybe one little teeny color breaking stress mark, if that. But there is staple rust on this. So these independent comics, especially the Albedos, the Huzzahs, they, they just, the staples used were not great. So it's a big, it's a big issue. Even Fantagraphics books, a lot of them have... Um, Stable rust. So happy to have this back in a 9.2. I just want to make sure there's no mechanical errors with the case. Looks beautiful, actually. So 
CGC, you've done well. Okay. All right, so this is the next book. It's an alter ego number seven. Again, highest graded copy of this out there is a 9.6. It would be freaking awesome if I could get a 9.6 or a 9.8. But honestly, at this point, if I could just get my 9.4s back, I would be happy. All right, let's see. First one. 9.4. Okay, I'll take it. So I'll have to look up which one of these has the inscription on the inside. So one of these was signed by Roy Thomas. Um, I'll have to see which one it is. So again, these books are also like extremely beautiful. There, there was no reason for them to be graded an 8.5 and a 9.2. What I think happened is that they got sent to like, I hate to say it, not the ultimate value tier. So I find that when I send books to the ultimate value tier, they just get graded better. I feel like the quality graders grade the expensive books in the ultimate value tier. And if you send in the other tiers, you're just, you just don't know what you're going to get sometimes. You know, sometimes it's fine. Other times it's not. So as you may recall, I had two boxes come back when these were sent in. So the alter egos were originally not graded by um, the better graders. So this looks good. Again, I'm just going to see. Make sure there's no mechanical errors. Again, these are just, these books are just, in, they're just so beautiful. And uh, I'm just, again, I, would, I wouldn't have sent them in for a crack press and regrade if I didn't think they really had a shot at a higher grade. I'm very picky about which books I select for this. The Albedo 2, that was just a dumb mistake on my part, though. All right, so this is the last one. So, so far, I've, at least gotten the grades, the original grades back that I had. So this has been honestly kind of an exercise in stupidity because I've spent a lot of money getting these books graded twice, like a lot. So I hope maybe there's like maybe at least one grade bump in here. Again, if I get a 9.6 or a 9.8, that would at least be tied for the highest copy. So let's see. Last alter ego. If it goes down, if it's a lower grade, I'll be so irritated. All right. What is it? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I'm going to have to bleep that out. Wow. 9.6. So this is tied for the second highest graded. So there are now two 9.6s, and I have one of them. Again, first Black Adam in the Silver Age. Uh, first cover appearance of Black Adam, unofficial, of course. This is such a cool book, and to have a 9.6. Ooh, I'm so happy. This will go lovely next to my Marvel Family number 17.0. Okay, please, no mechanical errors in this one. That would just break my heart. This looks great. This looks great. So I'm super happy. This is definitely deserving of, like, a toast. Mmm. So I got some redemption today. I'm very happy. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. I'm going to go over my top 10 want list for 2024. And my top 10, uh, not top 10, but just my pickups that I was able to get off my top 10 2023 want list in a future video. So stay tuned for those. And of course, happy hunting.